Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today we're going to be doing, um, of course, another food and art video, acrylic pouring. But um, I'm going to go back to like one of my first videos I posted on YouTube and it's going to be um, the blow dryer one. So that one was pretty popular, which I was actually surprised at how popular it was, but I'm happy you guys liked it and I definitely had fun doing it. So I decided why not do another one. Maybe I can make it into a little series or something. So I guess this is like part two. But um, yeah, so today we're going to be doing that. Um, if you guys are new here, thanks for stopping by. Please subscribe down below so you guys can keep up with my videos. And if you guys are coming back, thanks for watching my videos. Um, as always, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And yeah, let's just get into the video. So today I'm going to be doing kind of an ocean-themed painting with the blow dryer. I have this vision in my head and I want to see if I can execute it on canvas. So you guys will be watching me do that. Um, I have these three canvases about about that wide. They're narrow, pretty narrow. Um, only like three inches wide. Um, this way, going vertical or horizontal. I don't know. You guys, you'll see what I mean. But yeah, they're pretty small, thin canvases. And I have three of them, so it's kind of like a three-piece. Um, and I have this ocean scene in my mind. Of course, I'm using blues. What else would I use? Um, but yeah, today we're going to be using... Um, I have Persian Blue, of course. This is the Premier Acrylics. Um, these are the ones I always use. Hopefully you guys can see that. But I'm going to be using Persian Blue and mixing that with a little bit of black. And this is kind of like the ocean in the distance. It's always darker, so that's going to be in the back. I have this sand color. Um, I love using this for like the bottom part to make it feel more ocean-like, so I'm going to be using that. I have a Turquoise. This is a deep turquoise, so I'm going to be using this. And I think for the lightest part, I might go with this seaside. I haven't decided yet. I might mix a little bit of this into the seaside color. And this is just your um, typical craft paint. I'm going to be using that. That's a really, really pretty color, so I really like that. And of course, we have to have our white. Sorry, my camera just died. I'm not sure what you saw, but... Um, I was explaining the process, so I'm going to be, I have my pans, I'm going to be setting those up, I'm going to put my canvases down, and um, I think I'll show the mixing process because, one, because there are, I'm doing um, a limited amount of colors, so it won't take that long, but I think it's about time. I kind of update it, um, not that I've changed much, but I haven't showed it in my pourings, I usually do like speed paints, so I figured I'll update, uh, uh, update that for you guys, sorry. Um, but yeah, I think that's it. So yeah, let's just start mixing the paints. So I have everything set up and I decided to put these rocks out because I might, um, use these on the painting just to give it more of a beachy feel. I think that would be really pretty. We'll see how it turns out. Hopefully this goes well. Um, I know this would probably turn out well if I were just pouring the paints and kind of mixing it. Um, but I, again, I wanted to try the blow dryer to see how this works. Um, this is all experimental. You never know until you try. So I'm going to go ahead and pour these paints in. Um, I actually might need to change out my white because I, re I realized I didn't have enough left. So I'm going to be using just this Artist Loft white paint. It works perfectly fine for what I do. So um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy like I always say. But I'm just kind of, I usually just fill up the bottom part of the cup with paint. You don't really need a lot because you have Floetrol, which, um, sorry, if I forgot to mention, Floetrol is the pouring medium that I use. Most of you guys know that, but if you're new here, that is what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of Prussian Blue down in a cup. But as I was saying, yeah, you don't need a lot of paint because um, you have your pouring medium, which expands the paint, so don't worry about putting too much in. And I'm just putting a few drops of black in there to deepen that blue. Absolutely love that mixture. Like, every time it just comes out so pretty. I'm going to be doing a little bit of the deep turquoise. Um, and I'm actually going to add just a little bit of orange into this mixture with the deep turquoise because I want to dull it down a little bit, kind of give it more of a cloudy feel so it blends with this more, um, since it has black in it, but just like one drop is fine. I think two fell in there, but that much, that's all good. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I'm going to be adding my sand color into one of the cups. 
And this one, for some reason, is super thick. I don't know why, um, but it's really thick. It comes out a lot clumpier. So when you mix it, you just have to make sure you mix this really nice because then it will just come out in clumps. Then I'm going to be using this Seaside. I think this is called Seaside. And I'm going to test this color out first because I don't know how it's going to look when I mix it with the turquoise. But I want all these colors to fade in pretty well together, which it probably will just because I'm doing um, a pour so I don't have to worry about using a brush to blend everything. But yeah, I'm going to put a, like a drop of this in and mix it to see how it looks. So that's what I want to put in first. And that definitely darkened it, but so I'm going to add a little bit more of this seaside and then maybe if I don't get the color I'm looking for, I think I might add a little bit of white in it to lighten it up a little bit, but I think this should be fine. The only thing about using craft paints is that they're so small that you end up using a bunch almost in one turn, so just make sure you have enough around. But I went ahead and added that much more in there and mix it and see what happens. Hopefully the color is pretty true on camera. And I think that's okay because I will be getting a darker um, turquoise, so it's not going to be too similar. Let's just go ahead and mix this and I'll show you what I'm talking about. See how it kind of deepened it. I'm actually going to add a little more of that. One more drop to see what happens. But yeah, this is the most tedious part, guys. It's just mixing your paints, getting the colors you want. This will be a longer video because I, I haven't done one where I actually show you the whole mixing process. And that is good. So you guys can see the difference between these two colors. It's like a lighter version of the other. Then I'll go ahead and mix the Persian blue. I might actually add it too much black, but for some reason with the Persian blue, when you add the Floetrol in, it does end up lightening the blue a little bit so even if it ended up darker I went ahead and added a little more blue but even if you didn't you probably would be fine um yeah this is a nice deep blue this is probably I mean obviously this is not gonna fade super well but um because I don't really have a transitioning color but I like it like that so after I do that I usually go ahead and just stick one of these in there so I'm gonna move these out of the way and now I'm going to add a little bit of water. And this I kind of just test. There's no certain way. I kind of add just enough for it to fill, um, cover the paint. It's kind of hard to show you, but it's just above the paint. You guys can see it wiggling around. And I'm going to do the same in all of them. Um, if your paint is super thick, like that tan one, you can add a little bit more water just to thin it out because the flow trial that I'm using is latex based. So it's a little thicker than the one I started out with. But um, I'm actually really used to this, so it's all good. So I think that's enough for each of them. Now I'm going to get my flow trawl. And I like to make sure that it is the cap's nice on and tight. And I like to shake it up a little bit because it's sitting for a little bit. All right, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and open it up. So these canvases are pretty small, so I don't need a ton of paint. Um, for the white, I do plan on putting it in between the layers just to give it a kind of an oceany wave feel. Um, and I apologize for my hands, guys. They're probably crappy looking. I'm always painting, so I always have paint on it. But I'm not going to put too much white. Mm. I always end up pouring too much. So you know what? I'm going to do that for now. I'm not going to need a whole ton of tan. This sandy color. Should be good. But... Again, since we are doing the blow dry method, you might end up blow drying a lot off, playing around with it because you, you're trying to get it to a way you like it. So you might actually need a little extra paint, but we can always mix more. It's not a big deal. Plus, I always end up having extra paint, so I just end up making another painting with the same colors. 
I'll actually add a little more white. Okay, so, as you guys can tell, I did not mix the white paint in, or the, I didn't mix the um, water with the paint before I put the Floetrol in. And the reason is because I used to do that. I would put the water in, mix it in the paint first, and then I'd add the Floetrol, but it kept getting really clumpy. So now I do, I add the paint, I add the water. Um, if I mix in colors, I'll do that first, like you saw with the blues. But I add the paint, the water, then I add the Floetrol, then I mix it. And the reason is it makes it less clumpy. The water blends better because of the flow trial in there. It kind of separates the water from the paint. And that helps a lot with mixing. So I'm probably just going to... I'll show you guys how I mix two colors. And I'll just mix the rest off camera because it, it really does take a little bit. But you just want to mix these really well. White and tan get clumpy quite a bit. But I think I found a good medium between these whites, so I can kind of get it to not clump up so much, if you guys can see that. That's pretty good. That, uh, consistency is good. And I'm going to do the tan. So you guys can already tell. You see that? Those clumps? I don't know why it does that. I actually don't mind the clumps in the sand. Um, only because it's sand. And it looks clumpy. But when I'm using this color in other pictures, it kind of is very annoying when you get the clumps. But for this, I'm not going to... I'm not pressed about trying to get this super smooth because we are doing a beachy scene. Plus I'm adding rocks, so it'll kind of give more of a rocky feel to it. I don't know. I really do hope this painting turns out well. Um, like I said, I have a vision in my head. I really don't know how it's gonna work out. Um, but we'll see. You really just have to like whip the paint. Because there's just no way you're getting these clumps out if you don't. This is tiring for your hand. Alright, I think that's the best I'm going to get it at the moment. There are still a few clumps. I might mix it a little more off camera. But I'm going to go ahead and mix these and I'll come back to you guys. Alright guys, I just finished um, mixing all these colors. And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling BT vibes right now. If you follow me on my Instagram, I recently just did a painting with pretty much the same colors. Um, I ended up blow drying it, actually, because I didn't like the results. But, yeah, make sure to follow me on my Instagram. Link will be down below so you guys can see more of my day-to-day -day type stuff. But I'm actually going to I'm gonna move the camera and set up the canvases. Um, and, yeah, we'll start the paint. Okay, guys, so as you can see, I have three cups set up two for each canvas since they're pretty narrow. I do want to say that if you have been doing pourings, um, clean out your pans because the paint for some reason recently has been making my cups really unlevel. And um, again, if you follow my Instagram, you saw that I had a really pretty painting and it completely got ruined because my um, cups just weren't level. And I think it's due to the fact of how much paint I had in my pans. So make sure to um, clean them out. But I'm just going to be putting these up. I want them to be pretty close together because this is a, a three-piece painting, but the canvases are separate, so you want the paintings to flow. I'm just opening them up at the moment. And as you guys can see, I've already gotten paint on my hands because I was cleaning out some of these pans, which the paint is still wet in some of them, but it needed to be done because I do not want these to get ruined. Hopefully they work out. And it's fine if that happens. I got a little paint on it, but but since I, if I was doing a pouring, I would make sure these are pretty tight together. Like if I was doing a flip cup or a dirty pour. But since I'm using a blow dryer, um, it'll be fine. I'm gonna move that trash to the side. So in my first blow drying um, video, you guys saw that 
I explained that you want your blow dryer to kind of be either angled a little bit or down. But don't put it too angled because the paint will splat. And that has happened multiple times to me. Probably will happen again. But just be careful with the way you angle it. Um, and just make sure that when you're just kind of holding this and it's on that you are covering the top part because things will just blow everywhere. But this is my blow dryer. I have it plugged up. Works fine. I usually don't turn it on high. I like to keep it on low, which is this. This high. This is low. Hopefully you guys can hear me. But, okay, so. I'm going to start off with the tan and the white. And I'm going to test this to see if my vision is going to work. If not, you know, maybe we'll just use these colors but not get the full beach scene like I want it. And I'm going to have to do that. And um, I'm going to turn this on, on low. Okay, this might work. I'm going to put some white. This is like the crashing waves part. And cells will form in this painting because I am using uh, Floetrol. But I don't know if you guys can tell what I'm trying to do, but this is the sand crashing wave. I usually, I'll probably skip to going downward. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Guys, none of these paintings that I ever do are, are fully, fully planned out by the dot. You guys know, um, and I think I even made a video about it, I have a very random process, but I like that because that's just me. Um, I don't put too much thought into it, I kind of just, I just paint. Um, and I like to see what happens. So, I mean, obviously I do have to think, you know, how I'm going to set my paintings up, how I'm going to set my canvases up, what colors I'm going to use. I kind of have a vision and outline, but I don't do it the dot by dot, like the plan by plan, if you guys know what I mean. Um, I like to kind of just see what happens. And even with this type of painting, you can't really plan it out uh, a full plan because it's just not going to work like that. You never know how it's going to end up. But it, it's like a surprise and I like it. So yeah, just a little spew there about what I do. One thing I do like about the blow dryer, guys, is that I kind of have a little more control with these paintings because I kind of get to decide where the paint gets to go. Um, but now I'm going to go in with this light turquoise seaside color thing that I mixed. Just going to put a little bit down. Um, it'll spread, so... Oh, and I don't know if I said this already, but make sure to have paper towels by because you're going to need to wipe your hands when they get messy. You don't want the colors to mix. So hopefully you guys can see what I'm going for, which... I mean, it's working pretty well so far. I think so, at least. I don't know if you guys like this. It's 
gonna go ahead and put like a dot of white there. I might end up changing that, but it's gonna represent kind of the wave. This one isn't blowing very well. See, I'm almost out of white. You just have to know which colors we're going to use the most. Probably could use more white. I already got paint on my favorite sweatshirt. Why do I wear it painting? I do not know. I always do this. But you know what? That's okay. Now I'm going in with the deeper turquoise color, which is not as dark as I wanted it to be, but that's okay. I think the Floetrol ended up lightening these colors a little bit. Yep, I'll definitely have some extra paint for another painting, so maybe I'll just show you guys. And I'm just going to do a dirty pour with that one. I have to find a little small canvas, though. So. But you guys start to see how much, like, I, I actually do have a lot of control over these. So this is easier, like, if I had a vision to kind of execute the vision, it's easier to do it with a blow dryer than just doing a dirty pour or a puddle pour, a, um, a swipe method, whatever it may be. This is probably the best if you have an execution or if you have a uh, execution. <laughs> that didn't sound good. <laughs> if you have a vision and you want to execute it, this is probably the best way to do so if it does involve using a um, blow dryer or if you can do it using this method, which I would highly recommend. So much fun. I'm just kind of making sure the paint gets on the side, especially since I have three canvases. I can't really see. I want a little more blue in here. But hopefully you guys are kind of getting the feel that I went for, you know. Kind of reminds you of a beach, you know, the sands, waves crashing, just in a more abstract way, of course. What else would I be doing with my life? Um, a little more of this. like super picky since I can control it again. I'm telling you, normally I can't do much about it because I can't control it, but now I can, so I'm like making sure I like it.
right, guys, I am actually pretty satisfied with this. Um, I'm still debating if I'll add rocks. I kind of like it without it. I feel like adding rocks will ruin it. But maybe I can try doing um, the, the, with the leftover paint. I can try doing another one and adding rocks with it. But I'm going to go ahead and set up another canvas, and I'll come back to you guys. Alright, I have like three minutes before my camera dies, so I'm going to do this quickly. But I just mixed a little bit of extra white, but I pretty much just put all the other colors in one um, cup. I'm going to do a dirty pour just to use the rest of this paint, so it's kind of like a bonus feature. But I'm going to use a blow dryer to spread this out real quick. Edges real quick. Sorry if I sound like I'm rushing. I don't want my camera to die. Again, it's got problems, guys. Okay, so I just dumped all of these into one cup. And you know what? I, I'm not going to do a flip cup. I'm just going to actually pour it. Oh, so pretty. That tan is working so well. Lovely. I'm just going to stick that over there. And yes, I covered up a piece that I wasn't very happy with. Oh, my Persian blue. That sucks. <laughs> it's like my favorite color. And this one, you know what? I will do rocks on this one. Kind of getting it to something I like. I wipe these cups off because it usually dries with the paint under it. The back of these, make sure I get all the corners. Like that. I'm going to wipe my hands off real quick as you all can see. It's kind of dirty. I'm going to get a few of these rocks, form into my hands. And the way I get these to stick, I like to do it when it's wet, but I go in with some glue and I spray on top of it. And of course I do my protective uh, spray. end up sticking down in there pretty well actually when the paint dries but yeah here we go so these are the two that I ended up doing today sorry if this one was a little rushed guys but I hope you like it I actually really like the way the Prussian blue end up coming in because it didn't show at all and here's the first piece that I did with the blow dryer it is slightly darker in real life um, I think there's just a lot of light coming in right now. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed these pieces. Um, again, sorry if the end was a little rushed, but I had fun doing this, of course. Um, I love sharing with you guys. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.